Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Today I want to come on here and share my January favorites. I have an array of different items, mostly footwear, so let's jump right in, shall we? The first ones that I want to talk about are these bad boys. These are the Louis Vuitton Runaway sneakers that I got for Christmas. I love them, I am obsessed with them, and I have been wearing them non-stop this past month. And they end up suiting my lifestyle perfectly since I'm such a casual dresser, and you guys know that I am a die-hard sneaker fan. Uh, but these are I mean, these are super, super comfortable. I have had a lot of you guys let me know that you don't find them to be uh, too attractive, that you find them a little too busy, or they're a little too gaudy. Uh, personally, I feel that all the details just really work well together. You have the gold with the monogram, and then you have the patent leather, the suede, uh, and I really like the monogram here. Uh, but whenever I use these with, uh, with jeans, and if I'm wearing my Palm Springs mini backpack or my Chanel Le Boy bag, I really like the combination of those two together. So it might not look as, they might not look as appealing, you know, on camera until you see them on an outfit. At least that's what I think. I don't know. but I, I absolutely love them. Uh, they're very, very comfortable. They are a little bit heavy. They're some of the heaviest sneakers that I have in my wardrobe uh, in comparison to like Vans or Converse or any other type of shoe, uh, but they are somewhat, <laughs> they are somewhat heavy. Uh, there is the bottom, and I actually ended up going for a 38 and a half in these. Usually I'm a size 40 when it comes to luxury shoes, but they end up running a little bit, uh, a little bit larger. And I'll be honest with you, um, what really threw me off is how they wear, how it feels when I wear socks with them. Cause I always wear socks with all my sneakers, uh, but because they're leather lined, it kind of feels like your foot's moving around a little bit. And also, like I said before, they, um, they end up running a little bit large. So if you're thinking about getting these, and you have to wear socks with your sneakers, I suggest taking a few uh, a few pairs with you just so you can see how it feels. Because if you have thinner socks, then it'll feel like you're swimming in them. If you have thicker socks, then it might feel a little bit more comfortable or whatnot. So I just wanted to throw that in there as a tip, uh, but I think that these are awesome. And they have a little bit of a heel going on, so I like that considering that I'm not the tallest person. Uh, so by having that extra little you know, quarter inch uh, or half inch, it ends up working out for me perfectly. <laughs> uh, but I think they're awesome. I haven't had any issues with wear on the on the top here, on the tip, or on the suede. Um, and I haven't. Uh, someone said that I should maybe um, add Scotch Guard to them, but I didn't do that either. Uh, so I've been wearing them nonstop, like I said before, having no issues. And um, I don't know. I really, really like the way that they look. So I'm a big, big fan. Uh, and someone had also asked me if I would end up getting a different color in these. I don't know, to be honest, because I've seen the pink they have the khaki, which I love, and you guys know how I feel about khaki, <laughs> um, but I like the black because I feel like the black goes with everything, especially if I'm going to pair it with a black bag or with a monogram bag. It really ties in nicely. So the Louis Vuitton runaway sneakers in the noir, these are awesome. And there you go. There it has the Louis Vuitton Paris. So I highly, highly recommend them. But remember, they are somewhat heavy. So when you first go to walk on them, you might be like, what is going on? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm being stupid. I don't know. <laughs> the next time that I want to talk about are these sweaters. These are from Zara. Uh, and I think that on the website, it just says sweater with bow detail. I don't, I don't think there's too much, which I think there's a few different ones like that, to be honest. Uh, but the first one is in gray or it's in charcoal and it has this really nice white bow detail on the back uh, and it has oversized sleeves. It's a little bit shorter on your torso, so it's not very long. Long, uh, but it's very very warm and I also ended up getting it in the khaki um, or in the green again you guys know my obsession with this color uh, and this one has the black bow detail on the back but these are really nice I feel like they're just simple sweaters that I can end up wearing with either a skirt or with jeans and with sneakers or any other type of uh, like if I'm wearing boots Uh, I really like the way that they look, uh, but yeah, I think these are awesome, and I think I got them. Uh, this one I ended up getting about a month, no, about two and a half months ago. This one I got a month and a half ago, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and they were $24.99, but I think they're on sale right now for $15.99. If I can find them, I will put the, the name or the description uh, down below so you guys can check them out, but these are awesome. They did shrink a little bit. Not gonna lie, all right? I went to wash them and I dried them in low heat. I actually, I think it was, it wasn't low heat. I think, maybe it was. 
I can't remember, but I ended up shrinking them. <laughs> it's my own fault. I should have just like hung dry them, but I didn't. And they ended up being a little bit short. I mean, they ended up shrinking a little bit. Not too much. I can still wear them, but any more than it would be a belly shirt. And that's, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> so the Zara sweater with the bow detail, which I love. And they do run uh, a little bit larger. I ended up uh, going down a few sizes in these. So if you want something a little bit baggier, then I would end up um, staying to the, to the size that you normally end up getting. But for the most part, I feel that you can really end up sizing down two or three sizes in these. So the Zara sweater with the bow detail. That's what it said. I'm almost positive that's what it said on the website. Uh, all right, the next thing that I want to share with you guys is this beauty. This is the Hermes Calvi. This is in the Epsom leather in the color Rose Azali. I have uh, been using this and I'm still currently using this, but I decided to empty it out for the video. I've been using this as a wallet and I love it. I love the simplicity that it has. I love the color because it adds a nice pop of color and you guys know me when it comes to pops of color. Uh, but the quality, I mean, it's just a simple card holder. I mean, there's not too much to, to talk about, uh, but I'm able to fit all of my essentials that I would end up using inside of a larger wallet in here, no problem. You guys know that I'm a big fan of the uh, Chanel Ozip coin purse. That's one of my favorite wallets. And I can use the same amount of items in this wallet here. But the only difference is that this does have a snap button closure. So if you end up fitting a lot more cards inside, it ends up being a lot bulkier. It ends up being a lot thicker. But the snap button is very secure. It hasn't popped off on its own or anything like that. Uh, so I've really been loving this one. I've used it either as a wallet or as a loyalty card uh, holder or what have you. And it ends up being perfect. Uh, no issues with wear either. I thought that I'd have a lot more wear on the corners here where you open it up, uh, but check that out. It's a lot better than I thought. Look at that. And then you guys can see it there a little bit better, but um, it's not, it's not bad at all. It hasn't ripped open or anything. So it's a very simple card holder, but the quality of this, uh, of this Calvi is amazing. So much so that I really want to add another Calvi to my collection. I've been going into the boutique, uh, but every time I go, it seems to be um, either sold out or uh, they don't have any colors that I'm looking for. Probably a red, again, because you guys know how I feel about red, or maybe um, I'm gonna go for a uh, for a black one. So the Hermes Calvi is amazing. If you wanna try something uh, small from the fashion house and see how their quality is, I highly recommend that item. The next item that I want to share with you is this cutie. This is the Louis Vuitton Damier Ben Clay. Uh, and really, I've been using this every single solitary day. This is perfect. It's such a versatile item because you can use it as a wallet, as a catch-all. There's so many different uh, things that you can use this item for. And the fact that it does have a little chain inside, if you were to use it as a grab and go, you can put this on your belt loop. Uh, you can also do that. So I just wanted to, it's a really quick mention because you guys know how I feel about these clays. Uh, normally I end up going, I gravitate more towards the Empreinte one, but this has been in my bag and I'm still using it every single solitary day this month. So um, I think this is a wonderful piece. And if you're starting to venture into luxury goods and you want to try them out, kind of like what I said with, with Hermes, if you want to try something out from that fashion house, if you are looking to start your collection, I highly recommend the clay. Or if you already have a collection and you want to uh, add another small leather good, this is a perfect piece because it has a great price point and you can end up uh, incorporating it various ways into your lifestyle. So the Louis Vuitton um, Demi Ben Clay. The next item that I want to share with you guys is an eyeshadow. This is a Christian Dior, uh, I believe it's called the Dior Show Fusion Mono Eyeshadow in 661 Meteor. This was sent to me by a fabulous friend, uh, but check out this color. It is absolutely gorgeous and uh, just a nice little bronze. So when you go to put it on uh, on your finger, uh, it ends up just blending in very nicely. It's a really nice formula and it doesn't have any fallout, especially if you end up wearing an eyeshadow base, uh, but it is a beautiful, beautiful color. There it is. And it's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. Uh, and like I said before, it just has a perfect amount of glitter. It's not too crazy. It's not chunky glitter or anything like that, but it does give you a little bit of sparkle. But again, the formula is awesome. Uh, I tried finding it and uh, I believe it's been discontinued through Nordstrom, but you can still get it through Neiman's. And if I can find it, I will put it on the description box below if you guys wanted to check it out. 661 Meteor in the Dior Show Fusion Mono Eyeshadow. That is a mouthful. Hopefully I said it correctly. The next item that I want to share with you guys are some Key Australia sunglasses. You guys know that this is one of my favorite brands when it comes to sunnies. I actually ended up picking these up about a month ago, if I'm not mistaken, and I've been using them uh, every single day. 
but they ended up working out perfectly for me. They are a little bit oversized, but these are called the Supernovas. They kind of remind me of the high keys that I have, uh, but they're a little, they seem to be a little bit larger, right? Uh, but again, I have these ginormous cheeks, so I feel it ends up working out perfectly and they don't end up sliding off my nose or anything like that. And especially when I laugh, my cheeks don't end up hitting the bottom of the sunglasses. So I really like these and uh, they are the gold with the brown and uh, they're very, very comfortable. So I highly recommend the Supernovas. If maybe you weren't a fan of the high keys before and you wanted something that looks similar, but when it comes to aviators, that's always the style of uh, sunglasses that I always seem to navigate towards the most. Uh, I feel like it ends up suiting my face the best versus like uh, cat eye sunglasses or even the round ones. The round ones make my face look even rounder than it is now, <laughs> you know? So these end up working out perfectly for me. So the Key Australia Supernova sunglasses in the gold and in the brown. The next item that I want to share with you guys are these Stuart Weitzman 50-50 over-the-knee boots in the black suede. Uh, these are amazing boots. I'm super excited that I was able to add them to my wardrobe. Um, I end up wearing them either with uh, shorts or with jeans. Sometimes I have worn them with a skirt, but I have really gotten quite a bit of use out of them this past month. Uh, and I did end up having them scotch guarded. Uh, actually, no, well not scotch guarded, but I ended up using a protector that I got at Nordstrom. It was seven bucks, but it has water and stained repellent because a lot of people, a lot of you guys, so think, thanks mostly to you guys uh, for letting me know when I pick these up uh, that I should end up doing that because you end up seeing the stains very quickly on the suede uh, and especially because suede is unforgiving whenever you have any type of um, any type of water uh, come into contact with them. These also ran a little large, uh, so I ended up going for an eight and a half in these and they were perfect. I wear a size nine in the US, so I had to uh, go down just a half size. I know some people have gone uh, a whole size down or a size and a half, uh, but I strongly recommend going into the store and trying them out, see how they end up feeling on you. I will have to say one thing, the very first time that I wore these, I had a little bit of an issue because of this guy right here. On the very back, uh, since this is the last and then you have the suede in the front. This part here was digging into my uh, was digging into my uh, my ankle really really badly. It was so uncomfortable, and that's because I was wearing short socks instead of wearing boot socks. So again, that's all personal preference because some people end up wearing uh, strictly boot socks with these, and other people wear the the thinner socks. But I have um, smaller ankles, so this ended up digging into my ankle so badly it was driving me crazy until I put on the boot socks or the thicker socks, then it was like, oh, these are a thousand times more comfortable. So initially it kind of threw me, it threw me off, even though I read on, you know, online about how people had to have boot socks and this, this and that. I didn't really pay attention to it, my own fault, um, but they ended up digging in uh, a little too, a little too much. But as soon as I wore the thicker socks, it went away and these are insanely comfortable. I find that they're very, very warm. I have no issues. And of course, since I'm wearing those boot socks, that ends up working out as well. You can get those on Amazon. You can get them pretty much at any store. Uh, but that's what I would recommend is uh, if you're going, if you have thinner ankles, if you have smaller, not thinner, if you have smaller ankles uh, and you don't want this digging in, I strongly suggest uh, going for boot socks. And that also might alter uh, what size you end up going for. So if that's the route that you want to go for, I strongly suggest getting those socks and then trying them out with them. That way you have um, enough space in the toe box because the toe box uh, might be a little bit too snug if you end up wearing thicker socks or anything like that. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. If you're thinking about getting these, I highly recommend going through the department stores because the department stores usually have a gift card event. So if you end up spending like $300 or $500, you get a $100 uh, gift card back or $200 gift card. It all depends on how much you end up spending uh, because they do have a little bit of a, of a hefty price point when it comes to these, but you can get some amazing deals on them. And also if you go through Ebates, you're able to save some money that way as well. So I think that these are, uh, these are awesome. So the Stuart Weitzman 50-50 over the knee boots, and I will put that on the description box below. The last item that I want to share with you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I picked this up. Uh, and if you are a bookworm like I am, if you are a dog lover, if you're an animal lover, I highly recommend picking up this book. This is The Art of Racing in the Rain. And this is a huge, huge thank you to my very good friend, Karen. Karen, thank you so much for letting me know about this book. It's been around for uh, 10 years now, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm super late to the game. But this book is amazing. I read it 
cover to cover in one day. I was so engrossed into the to the story. And a lot of you guys told me on Instagram that you you were bawling like a baby at the end of this book. I'm not going to give away any spoilers. Um, you were bawling like a baby and you see things differently. And I, oh man, I was, I was crying. I was just Oh, I don't know what it is, but I felt like every, and it might, it's, I might sound like a total weirdo, but I felt like everything that I think about when it comes to Edward was put into this book. Like I felt like it was Edward and I in this, in, you know, in this story, but it is amazing and I highly, highly recommend it. It's a very touching story, absolutely. And again, if you are a dog lover and uh, you like to read, this is a great, great book. This is one that I know I will continue to read as the years go by, um, but just be prepared. Have some tissues ready to go because it, it got so bad that I couldn't even see past my tears. You know what I mean? Like when you're that, when you're crying that much and they're all like right here and I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't even see the, the words that I was reading because I was just, yeah, it was sad. Ugh. So sad, but such, such a great book. So I highly recommend it. Um, I did have one, I did have a handbag favorite. I didn't want to share it with you guys. Do you know why? Because I talked about it last month <laughs> and I thought that you guys would make fun of me. And that's, <laughs> that's the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini backpack. I used it to death again this month. I just, I can't get away from it. You know what I mean? But I think that's a good thing because I, I really enjoy the, I really enjoy the bag. But I was just like, no, nah, I'm not going to bring it out here because someone's going to say something like, oh, why don't you use a different bag or whatever. But I feel like when you're when you're that crazy about a bag, why not? So <laughs> I don't have, I mean, it's up there to, I didn't bring it down to share with you guys because it's technically not on my favorites video, but it was my favorite handbag, but I didn't want to bring it out. Stupid, <laughs> stupid, but I love the bag. And like I said before, when I paired it with those runaways, I think it looked perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so that does it for my January favorites. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I was able to give you guys a little bit more information just in case you wanted to add any of these items to your collection or to your wardrobe. I will put everything on the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button down below and hitting that bell so you're notified when I upload videos, which is anywhere from two to three times a week. And I will see you guys later this week. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day, you guys.